What is going on, everybody? Welcome into another episode of the Sick Podcast. Steelers, crazy. We're switching it up a little bit today. I'm Mike Nicastro. Find me on Twitter at MikeUpSports1. That's Jordan York. He's always introing the show, but I, I wanted to take the reins a little bit today. I wanted to show that I could still do it, Jordan. So I hope I'm doing as good of a job as you normally do. Yeah, you just wing it. Just live in the moment and let it roll off the tongue. You'll be all right. That's great life advice. I tell you what, I need that tattooed or put on a postcard and I could send it up to hey, maybe it, maybe it's Sammy your, up there. Yeah, maybe it's your bachelor party. You never know. Maybe my bachelor party. Yeah, not a bad <laughs> idea. I don't think uh, I'll get married if I get that tattooed on me. I think my fiance would probably leave me. Good. Anyway, we have a really exciting Steelers guest on today. I want to remind everybody out there, if you haven't caught up on our recent podcasts, We've just had some absolutely incredible, insightful interviews with current Steelers, the likes of Nick Herbig, former Steelers, the likes of Tyson Alulu, and some of these new Steelers that are coming into the fold that we're able to introduce you to, which is just so much fun because a lot of these guys, obviously, you've read about them, you've read their scouting reports, you know, you, you've you been able to hear some things out of training camp, but we're bringing them directly to you right and we're gonna do just that today in one second sammy go ahead and roll it turn up your volume volume. because you're about to listen to the sick podcast dealers crazy harris smith shields blacko polamalu takes it home super bowl 43 pittsburgh might be bound for that thanks to number 43 the sickest Pittsburgh Steelers podcast. Sports entertainment like no other. It's going to be sick. All right. He's probably sick of toothpaste jokes by now, but I'll, I'll make another one because his game is as clean as Crest White Strip. So let's, let's bring the man himself in, the man of the hour. It's none other than Steelers receiver Cody Crest. Cody, what's up? Hey guys, thanks for having me on. And that was actually not a bad joke right there. Normally the crest <laughs> jokes are pretty bad, so I'll give you some credit for that one. There you go. I'll take it. It, it was just like Jordan said. I was just that's coming it, from a Harvard man right there, man. I'll take it. It's honestly because I just went. I had an apple about three minutes ago, and I just went into to brush my teeth. So it kind of gave me a, a reminder. And you know what? I don't lie about these things. If you don't believe me. <laughs> <laughs> if anybody listens to the podcast, is like, what the heck? I just held up a, an apple. But that's that's why we're called Steelers crazy. Sometimes none of this makes sense, Jordan, right? Yeah, definitely. So we were kind of talking off air uh, before we started the show. Initially, you were signed uh, with the Colts. When did you get the call to know that, you know, hey, I'm going I'm going to be a Pittsburgh Steeler. I'm going to Pittsburgh. Yeah, so it's it's really interesting how that worked out. Um going through the whole draft process, I actually never spoke to the Steelers once. I, I had developed interest from, you know, the vast majority of the league and you get an idea of, of where the, the best opportunities are at. And I never talked to the Steelers. I know that's, that's how it goes with some people. They just, they get a call from yeah. a team that they've never spoke to. And, um, you know, after the Colts, I was just, you know, training, waiting for the call, staying ready. And, um, I was in the middle of a a training session and I got the call last Wednesday at about 2.45 p.m. And they were just like, all right, we're bringing you in. We got a flight for you at 5.30 out of Javi Airport, which is about an hour from where I was at. And they're like, we want you ready to practice tomorrow. So I just, I dropped everything right then and there. I went home and I just threw like a couple, a couple shirts, a couple shorts, you know, just some basic necessities in a bag and just, got to the the airport as soon as I could. I, um, I landed about 1230, got to my hotel about 130, 145, had to wake up at six for physical, all the medical checks, uh, showed up to the facility about 15 minutes before practice, signed my contract. They threw some gear on me and I just ran out there. Like I knew what I was doing. (laughs) (laughs) That's amazing. That's what I was going to say. What was your reaction? But you pretty much just summed everything up there. It was like, you were probably just grabbing stuff and you're like, Hey, I'm getting this once in a lifetime opportunity. What do you know about Pittsburgh? What, like the Steelers, the tradition, the history, like, you know, growing up, did you have a team? Do you know anything about Pittsburgh or the Steelers? Or is this like, Hey, I'm just, 
I'm just glad that I have time to unwind and just, you know, calm things down a little bit because life really, you know, it's just amazing, man. Yeah, uh, super grateful for this opportunity. I've always kind of been uh, a little bit of a fan of the Steelers just through association. My, my God family and my best friend, um, they're they're like diehard Steelers fans. So just yeah. kind of association with them. I've, I've always uh, like identified with the Steelers a little bit. The Packers and Texans were always my team growing up. But once I kind of, you know, hit the, the world of like being a prospect, uh, fanhood just kind of went out the window. Yeah. Uh, I was just like, you know, I'm, I'm not a fan anymore. I'm a player and I'm not going to have any attachments because wherever I go, that's my team and I'm all in. Yeah. On that so, you know, I, I know it's a really historic franchise, um, you know, great history of winning, uh, you know, some of the most Super Bowl titles in uh, NFL history. So mm. uh, it's a it's a great place to be a part of. I'm really excited about it. Definitely. So you've never been out to Pittsburgh with before? Yeah. No, first time. Uh, it's nice. actually really City. I, I've never really heard anyone hype it up, but I think it deserves yeah. to be hyped. It's pretty cool. Yeah, definitely, man. The scenery is great. City of Bridges, it's it's amazing. And everyone loves Pittsburgh Steeler football. I'm sure in your short time here, you kind of realize, like I tell all the guys that we have on here, I'm like, we don't have beaches, you know, pretty much like people get the crock pot going on Sundays, go to church, do whatever they got to do, uh, grocery shopping. And then it's, it's one o'clock, 4 p.m. kickoff. They're in front of their TV, crock pots on. It's like it, it's basically like a religion. I guess that's what it's compared to here. Uh, Pittsburgh Steeler footballs. So, been excited yeah. for the opportunities that you have, Mike. Yeah, obviously it's not always this hot, but you know that you were at Harvard for a while. Yeah. I have to tell you about the the Northeast weather anytime soon. Yeah. So it's a good transition to kind of get into your college career a little bit. For anybody that doesn't know. Uh, you did your undergrad at Harvard, correct? Graduated yes. in four years, then a grad transfer to play football once more. Continue your career, I should say, at Sam Houston State. And then at Sam Houston State, man, not that you weren't productive at, at Harvard, you're a star there, but your stats, man, productivity off the charts, 131 catches in 31 games. Tell me about this transition, you know, the learning curve, and then being able to absolutely thrive in that system over at Sam Houston State. Yeah, it was, it was an awesome opportunity. Um, coach Cardi, Ryan Cardi, he was the OC when I was there. He's now the head coach at Delaware, and he's killing it there. Um, you know, when he came on the home visit, he just – he sold me to the system. Um, and he's just such a great guy to play for. I, I really enjoyed being a part of that system. And then my quarterback there was a stud. So it's always fun when you got a, a great quarterback. Um, you know, and then, and then whenever he left, we had um, – uh, we brought in a new OC and uh, – Coach Perry, and he was with the Texans for a little bit. So I, I, I got a good introduction to, you know, kind of that NFL knowledge, that NFL offense. And, uh, you know, it didn't work out with him. He ended up getting let go five weeks in. But I learned a lot from him, and it was it was a really good experience. So, um, yeah, you know, it was awesome getting to go back home and, and kind of, like, elevate that level of competition a little bit from the Ivy League. The Ivy League was good, but, you know, going to Sam Houston, I, you know, I, we made that national championship run. I got to play against some, you know, North Dakota State, South Dakota State, yeah. James Madison, some really good teams. And, um, you know, every day I'm going against Zion McCollum. He was a fifth-round draft pick last year to the Bucks uh, at corner. And, you know, I'm it's just iron versus iron. I'm really getting to uh, confirm my beliefs about my abilities and just kind of grow on a daily basis. A lot of Steeler fans are already aware of your name, and I think big reason uh, of that is because of three numbers. Those numbers are four, three, and eight. <laughs> As your 40 time, uh, which I know has been talked about a lot uh, in this city. All right, first of all, did you think you were going to run that time? And then were you happy? Were you disappointed? Or were you kind of, you know, like, all right, this is what I was going to run? That's a good question. Uh, I, I knew I was going to run that time. Um, I was kind of, not kind of, I was pretty mad actually because I had unofficial <laughs> times. A, a lot of the unofficial times on my second run were low 4-3s, four 4-3-1, threes, four three one, four three three, And the official came out as a 4-3-8. Um, and I really, I wanted the, the, of course, I wanted faster times to be nice. <laughs> So uh, I kind of I remember I was like going back and forth with my agent. I was like, I ran a four three one. Like these are my times. I don't know why they're not posting it. He was like, Dude, calm down. You ran a four three. Like you gotta be happy about that. I was like, Okay, that uh, 
Yeah, that makes sense. But I, I, I had a good idea because during my training, that's where my numbers were the whole time. You know, we had mock pro day and I, I ran a 40 laser timed and I was, I was in the four threes. So, you know, just with, with the adrenaline and like the, the immense preparation and readiness for that day, I, I knew that I was going to have a good day. Athletes never satisfied, even with a 438. I love it. You'd love to hear it. Hey, tell us a little bit about your experience so far with the Steelers in terms of activities on the field. Tell us a little bit about rookie minicamp and OTAs going on right now. Uh, what have you soaked in and, and how's that experience been like? It's been great. You know, it, it's a grind, but I, I had a really nice welcome. Um, you know, like I said, I, I showed up to the facility right before practice and just ran out there without knowing the structure of practice, you know, anybody i hadn't even met the coaches yet and right away coach tomlin grabbed me just introduced uh you know introduced himself to me some of some of the other coaches and just really thanked me for for coming here and you know I, it's just a really nice experience um and a good welcome when you know the head man grabs you and just shows some you know some gratitude for you being there because me i'm just i'm grateful for the opportunity you know so that was a great start. And then just in terms of OTAs and practice, you know, it's a grind as, as an undrafted rookie free agent, you're not getting as many reps as, as the vet. You got to take advantage of every opportunity. So I'm just, uh, you know, I'm, I'm really just trying to, to soak this all in, uh, make sure that I'm as prepared as I can be whenever I, whenever I got here uh, last Thursday, you know, we got the weekend off and I, I truthfully might've spent give or take 30 hours just, grinding out the playbook learning all every install and uh i feel really confident that i know everything and i'm really prepared and so that i can go out there and i can do everything full speed uh with confidence uh to the best of my ability um yeah it's, it's a grind but it's it's been a really good experience a lot of the guys uh you know immediately just kind of grabbed me introduced themselves and welcomed me into the team so it's been a great place to be at are some of those guys in the receiver room, Cody? What has it been like watching the likes of Allen Robinson in the last couple of days, a veteran like himself, uh, rising star, and George Pickens? What has it kind of been like being around those guys? What have you learned maybe in just a few short days? Yeah, it's it's been great, um, you know, just seeing the way those guys work. Those are guys that have had a lot of success in the league, so those are the guys that you want to pay close attention to and make sure that you, know, you can emulate some of the things that they're doing and understand why they have such good success. So those guys have been great just in terms of our leadership, you know, grabbing some of the younger guys, some of the new guys, and just giving like, you know, little tips and, and whatnot before reps, just making sure that you know what you're doing and you're doing the, you know, those subtleties of the game, right? So it's it's been really helpful being around them and it's it's been a good experience. And I'm, I'm excited to continue to grow in my relationship with them and learn more from them. I always like to ask new Steelers this question. Uh, and there's always a, a bit of a smile on their face when we ask this question. Obviously, you, you guys are, you know, great athletes, um, you know, in itself. But is there one stealer, you know, you're watching from afar. Now that you're part of the team, you're kind of like, holy crap, I'm, I'm sharing a locker room with this guy. I'm playing against this guy. I'm interacting with him. Is there is there a, like a holy crap kind of guy? <laughs> I mean, I, I, I think – an obvious answer to that is probably TJ Watt, you know, yeah. one of the best in the game, one of the best of all time. So it's, it's cool to, to be on the same team as him and just see the way he works and understand kind of get a first person view of like what that type of greatness looks like. So, um, yeah, you know, I, I, every once in a while I take a, a moment to soak it in and just, you know, be grateful for this opportunity. But I, I try, I, you know, I don't really try to get, like, too immersed in, like, you know, oh, look, it's him. Oh, look, it's him. Because, you know, I, I, yeah. I'm here, too. And, and You have work to do, too. Yep, I have work to do. I got to prove myself. And, you know, I got to prove what I, what I believe I can do. Definitely. So let's learn about you. You graduated from Harvard and were a grad transfer. And uh, hopefully, you know, your football career continues. But, like, do you have any plans, like, outside of football? Like, let's learn a little bit about just, you know, Cody the person and not and not the athlete. Yeah, well, um, you know, it's, honestly, it's, it's great having Harvard as a plan B, you know. <laughs> yeah. Um, that was kind of, not you know, a, not a bad plan B. 
the whole idea of, of going there is, like, you know, I can get uh, an elite education from a prestigious institution, but still play a pretty high level of football and, and keep that door open to pursue an opportunity at the next level, which has always been my plan A, my ultimate goal. So, um, you know, and I'm blessed that it's, it's all worked out that way. Um, you know, I, I have an interest in finance. You know, I, I read some finance books. I always, you know, try to stay knowledgeable on that end. Um, you know, I had an interest in investment banking, consulting, that type of stuff. Um, and that's probably something that I would pursue after football. Um, but since this is my reality right now, I, I kind of I try to set that stuff to the side. Um, yeah. You know, I, I want to stay as focused as I can on, on this opportunity and, and make it a continued reality. Definitely. Uh, what, what hobbies outside of football and uh, what do you do for fun? Yeah, um, that's a good question. You know, I spend a lot of time with friends and family. I'm a family guy. Um, you know, yeah. just kind of um, just spending good time with people close to me. That, that's something that makes me a lot uh, really happy. You know, work out, stay in shape, uh, I read a lot just try to learn and stay knowledgeable just continue to grow, listen to podcasts, that type of stuff, you know, go on walks with my mom or my girl, walk her dogs, you know, just kind of have some time to have a nice conversation, deep think. Um, I'm really good at ping pong. <laughs> yeah. That's, that's nice. Well, nice. uh, I got some here. I got some rapid fire ones for you. Favorite movie. What was that? Favorite movie? Favorite movie? Oh, that yeah. would be um, Star Wars: Revenge of the Sith. Okay. Favorite song? Favorite song? Oh man. Um, maybe Separate Ways by Journey. Okay. And favorite Sing athlete no, of all kidding. time? <laughs> favorite athlete of all time? Yeah. Dang. Um. Uh, I tell you what, I do. I've always been a pretty big Aaron Rodgers and Devontae Adams fan. Okay. Uh, I, I could, I, I guess I'll say them. Cool. Well, hey, Cody, we really appreciate you coming on today. And uh, we're going to be rooting for you. Can't wait to see you on the field. Thank you very much. I really appreciate you guys having me. Anytime, Cody, appreciate man. it, man. Good luck. We'll be rooting for you and watching. Can't wait. Yep. Thank you. Sounds like we got the revenge of the Sith going on right now on our on our podcast. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what that. Uh, it, it is what it is. But if you're listening uh, to the show, you know these things happen from time to time. I, like I said, we got the revenge of the Sith going on right now. Uh, I thought but... it was just. I listen. I thought it was just <laughs> mine, and I remember before I thought it was like a Florida thing. And I'm like, I, and then when Sammy said in the thing, and I'm like, I don't know. That was wild. Yeah. Listen, anything goes about, on Steeler you, crazy. If you, you like Steelers football and you go to Acushire Stadium, you're going to hear some crazy sound effects. So we like to bring it on Steelers crazy sometimes as well. We'll bring you revenge oh, in the sit. That was a little Darth Vader esque right there. Yeah. As soon as Cody started we'll talking about there. Star Wars, I think that's when uh, <laughs> we dying. it just took over. And I just, Hey, this is showbiz. Like, like we, like we say, man, it's uh, you know, the show it's must okay. go on. Listen, it was fun. Uh, I mean, what a, what an easy guy to root for. Of course, I know we say that a lot, but uh, sincerely, uh, this dude's got blazing speed to 43840. He, you know, was incredibly he spent productive. 30, 30 and hours, he said, on the playbook. 30 hours on the playbook. So, you know, he is a bookworm. He, listen, he's a Harvard Crimson uh, and he likes good music. There's some journey out there. He's an old soul. So, oh, yes. I think uh, at, at the end of the day, we helped a lot of people learn about this kid, even if it was uh, in the midst of a <laughs> clacking. <laughs> I don't know what that was. But yeah, this has been another episode of Steelers Crazy. Make sure you subscribe. Um, check out everything uh, wherever you get your podcasts. And we'll see you guys next week. Uh, gotta love it, man. Rooting for the guy, Cody. Blazing speed. Harvard intelligence. You gotta love it, man. Follow us. The sick podcast, Steeler Crazy. I am Jay York Football. This is Miked Up Sports 1. 
This is the Steelers Crazy Sick Podcast. Sammy, Revenge of the Sith. <laughs> and that's a wrap. Hope you don't miss us too much until next time. Follow the Sick Podcast Steelers Crazy on YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, Google Play, and Apple Podcasts. <laughs>